we're going to the field trip where the 8th grade new tech is going to go to Mary Beck Elementary to teach these kids about the Revolutionary War. I'm going to look forward to um, entertaining the kids, having them read through our stories, see what they like about them. To A is in here, to B is kind of hanging out over here. To me it feels like a lifetime ago when I got captured by the British. It was the most terrifying day of my life. We wrote fiction stories to teach them about some of the fundamentals of the war and what happened while adding like something interesting or fun to the story to keep them interested in what was happening. I love how all the other characters can make in the same story. It's very interesting and I liked her character because she was trying to fix a problem in the story and her character did it and I very like that. And the layout was perfect because the house was good and how the sugar just fell from the wall, sugar, sugar taxes, it was perfect. It's teaching them about what the expectations are for writing and so they in writing a rubric to grade these eighth graders books have learned more about writing than they probably even realize. They have just been over the moon with being able to feel like they're taking part in the process. It's not just a teacher teaching them something, it's the ability for them to participate in their own learning and in the learning of other students. When I initially gave them the assignment um, with the entry doc they were okay excited about it. Then we had the chance to video chat with the fifth graders from Mary Beck and that really amped up their motivation. The fifth graders provided them some authentic real things they wanted to see in those stories and that really motivated the eighth graders to include those things in the story. Can you tell me a little bit about the process of writing these stories? How did it start and what were some of the things you did? At first we read this book called Chains. We saw how it, a historical fiction would work. We talked with them through uh, video and then uh, they told us stuff that they wanted and uh, either we did like put that inside our book or we thought that it was uh, very ridiculous so we didn't. Our stories kind of intertwine in how we wrote them. I think it was pretty good and that they'll like it because it's just an interesting story. I was excited because I didn't know a lot about like all the wars that happened. Bella ignored him. He continued to follow Bella until he gave up. He decided to keep it a secret because he liked Bella. It was about um, girls named Bella and Michelle and they, um, they dressed up as men to go into war with their fathers and they pretended to be their sons. They were proud of their work. Um, they lots of smiles. Um, they were excited that somebody valued their work, and that's the goal of an authentic audience: is to that you're not just doing it for your grade, um, that it has a meaning beyond school walls. I scored um, for there's four categories, and I scored um, three of the for th three of them. I scored a three, and the other one was a four. I liked the whole thing. Um, I really liked the layout. It was good. Denman Halton, let's go. We heard these girls like sing a song about the war, and um, we also had to like break these codes with some of the eighth graders. Like the tea, so this one will be cool. One of two ways: you can let the eighth grader help you break the code, or you can do it like a race and see who can do it first. Because you know, fifth graders are probably smarter than eighth graders. Right? No. Well, they got wrapped up in their stories and making them funny or whatever, um, but. At the end of the day, they knew that the Patriots were fighting, fighting the Loyalists. They knew that King George was a bad guy, at least to the Americans, um, and that real people fought in the war, and they told some fictional stories about real people. Early Saturday morning, I headed to the local grocery store in uh, Marriott, New York, with my mother. 